ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, wanted to introduce to you the fact that Data Mask did a soft opening like we do with most of our companies when companies start a business. They do a soft opening to make sure people know where they are, and then they do a grand opening. The grand opening for Data Mask is March 15th. If you go to the site at this time, give me a second. Um, I'll talk about this at the end of the video, but we're going to talk about data mass at the beginning. So we're going to go to data mass, d a t a m a s dot org. So data mass dot org. And as we go to data mass dot org, it should have taken me there, but I was doing it in the search, and so we go to data mass dot org. It'll take us here. What you'll notice is there, there is a frequently asked questions section on data mass at this time. Okay, so when you click on the frequently asked questions, this is what you will get. The ability of finding out certain commonly asked questions that we've been getting in emails. We couldn't do this without the input of our clients, the input of other people, curious and asking. So this also talks about the introductory discounts and so forth. Everyone who signed up for data mass prior to the 28th of February, everything is incorporated, everything is included, everything like what? Well, when you go to products, you will notice here that there is the extended program going from $1 million to $20 million. This one will go up to $100 million. Okay, but as of the 28th, anybody who hadn't signed up prior to that, then data mass will only go to these limits here, and this one will be 999,000. But at this current time, it goes to 100 million in credits that individuals are trying to document. Okay, so as it says, please be advised. As of this time, this is the current limit that they will do. This one will not handle anything beyond a million. This handles basic reporting of credits. Now, the problem that most people are misunderstanding with data mass, data mass is just data entry. What we've been finding is that everyone has been trying to document their tax credits and simply didn't know how. So we've trained staff to learn how to do that. I don't work for data mass. I just created the group, created the company, trained them, made sure they knew what they were doing. They are not tax preparers. They will not prepare your taxes for you in the sense that you give them your taxes, you give them your numbers, and they do everything for you. That's not what data mass is for. Data mass is to help those individuals who go to tax preparers or who are preparing the taxes themselves and do not know how to input the tax credits, the deductions, the bonuses, the benefits. See, you go to a tax preparer and they don't know how to do tax credits. They don't know how to take care of the write off the 1099C. They'll tell you, yeah, they know how to do the form, but they don't understand the concept of you being able to write off all of your debt, being able to use the accrual method. They are trained that only corporations can use the accrual method. Data Mass is trained to take care of the numbers for you. They'll then put the numbers, return the forms back to you so that you can process them accordingly. Data mass. What else does data mass do? That's what the frequently asked questions section is for, so that they can have those questions answered. See, as of February 15, 2024, we did a soft opening. This was so that we can work out the bugs in the system. And on March 10, 2024, it's supposed to be March 15th, but we reduced it to March 10th. We will do our grand opening, and we would very much appreciate your support. Anyone who signed up prior to February 28th received a discount and the full value of what was offered at the time as a show of appreciation. Okay? Now, 3% tax lien offset. I think you guys will really appreciate that when we implement that program. It will probably be sometime in May. Not sure yet. But I think you will really appreciate that program. Now, if only people knew what they could do once they document their credits and how they could sell their credits to offset other people's debts, such as child support, liens, any type of lien. So 
We'll be talking about that. In the, I'll be talking about that in the future. Data Mass will not be talking about that. That's not what they do. That's what I do. Okay, so I'll be talking about that, telling you guys of the possibilities. All right, got one more thing that I need to show you about Data Mass, and I'm putting this video up now because of necessity. We come here, and when you click on Home, you'll come to this first page, and it says, How do I communicate with Data Mass? Now, a lot of people are sending documents to Data Mass, but some people are sending document photo image, where they're taking a photo picture of a document, they're sending it to Data Mass. Data Mass cannot operate with photos of documents. You must scan the document. So going to places like Kinko, Office Max, yeah, Office Max still exists, uh, Office Depot, and what is it? Uh, Kinko's Office Max, Office Depot, uh, UPS store, and there's another depot, um, and I don't know why, Staples. <laughs> okay, Staples. Going to those facilities and getting the copy scanned onto a drive or getting them scanned and emailed to you and then you email them the data mask is a way to do it. There are scannable apps. You can download a document scanner from the App Store. Most people are not aware of this but they can only accept certain type of documents, other documents they cannot accept. Sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. It's just the procedures and process. Okay, this has several different questions that it answers and it goes down for a while. For instance, if the government is, and it's supposed to be, or has already documented, but if the government has already documented that there is no money, in the sense that the United States Treasury has said that Federal Reserve notes have no value, are not redeemable, and not backed by anything, and that Tax has been a case since 1933. Why are we paying taxes? Well, the answer is actually simple. Since 1933, since the New Deal, there's been the introductory new money, as defined as notes, drafts, bills of exchange, bank acceptance, trade acceptances, government obligations, and other eligible papers. We pay taxes for the ease of access to this process, whether utilizing such instruments as collateral or security. This is why the government permits the writing off of certain debts for their full value and crediting individuals for assisting in the writing off of the debt. You're helping to reduce the public debt. And that's why we pay taxes. It's a accounting thing. That's why they have the accrual method. That's why they have GAAP, General Accepted Principles of Accounting. That's why they have that. They need to have an accounting procedure in order to have an economy. And that's what they created in 1933. That's what you all are participating in. I refer to it as the matrix, so you are participating in a form of the matrix. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now that we have these question sections, we do appreciate each of you, and our concern about your needs is that we try to make them our needs. Okay, so data masks are not tax preparers, so they're not going to prepare your taxes for you. You will have to get your taxes prepared, but you will go ask the question. Ask them if they would incorporate your tax credits, and you'll see that they will not. Ask them if they will do your taxes along the accrual method, and you'll see that they will not. Even though they will not be able to articulate a law, a rule, or a procedure, or a policy saying, no, you don't have the right to do that, they're going to tell you no. Data mass will not tell you no. Data mass will follow the law. Data mass will follow procedure. Okay, that's what I'm introducing to you is the program and a better understanding of data mass and how data mass operates. So, ladies and gentlemen, data mass at datamass.org. Thank you for your time. There is one last thing that I do have to mention, and we have to go all the way back here. There is a video. The Empowerment Series number 25 is up. The link for the Empowerment Series is right there for the document. So those of you who are interested in the document, the document is there. If you understand the document, then you'll understand how much you're going to need data mass in the future. Just trust me on that. So the video is long, but it gives you the information you need to understand that document. And I promise you that document has more information in it than the previous document we put up for you temporarily. All right, ladies and gentlemen, datamass.org and the empowerment series video which will be up shortly after this video is up so those of you who watch this video and don't see the empowerment series video up you're just going to have to be patient it's over an hour long so it's going to take a little bit longer 
Have a good day, everyone.